Your mind is in the gutter. April Ryan lies about Trump and Sarah Sanders wrecks her world. By that conservative girl politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. During Tuesday's press briefing, CNN's April Ryan seemed intent on disseminating a disgusting lie about President Donald Trump. However, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was having none of it. And as soon as Ryan opened her big liberal trap, Trump's spokeswoman wrecked the reporter's world. The press was up in arms on Tuesday over a tweet President Trump had sent out that morning in regard to Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who was called for him to resign from office over bogus sexual misconduct claims. Lightweight Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a total flunky for Chuck Schumer and someone who would come to my office begging for campaign contributions, not so long ago and would do anything for them, is now in the ring fighting against Trump, very disloyal to Bill and Crooker, uh, Crooked used, Trump tweeted on Tuesday morning. For some reason, members of the press took Trump's statement that Gillibrand would do anything for a campaign donation to mean that the president was saying she had offered him sexual favors in exchange for cash Senator Elizabeth Warren even sent out a tweet in response to Trump's remarks asking if he was really trying to slut shame Gillibrand. Of course he was not, and it's silly to think otherwise. Politicians have been known to offer donors all kinds of special treatment in exchange for their support. That was obviously what Trump was referring to, but that didn't stop the press from dwelling on his statement and making it out to be something which it clearly was not. Reporter April Ryan, who frequently spars with Sarah Sanders, asked for a comment on the sexual quote innuendo uh, in President Trump's tweet to Senator Gillibrand and Sanders' answer floored her. I think only in your mind is in the, uh, only if your mind is in the gutter would you have uh, to uh, read it that way, said the press secretary, according to CNN, Ryan pressed her further to be shut down again. Let's take a quick listen. April? Gillibrand um, owed an apology for the misunderstanding of the president's tweet this morning because many, including Senator thinks that it's about um, sexual innuendos. I think only if your mind is in the gutter would you have read it that way. And um, so, no, Hunter. No, so it's not. It's it, when, when what he said, what he said was open, and it, it was not mine. It's the obviously party. talking about uh, political partisan games that people often play, and the broken system that he's talked about repeatedly. This isn't new. This isn't a new sentiment. This isn't new terminology. Uh, he's used it several times before. As I said a few minutes ago, he's used it several times before, uh, referencing men of both. Uh, both parties, in fact. And so I think that there, if you look back at the past comments he's made, it was very clear what his reference was. Hunter? There you have it, you know? Unbelievable. President Trump is obviously talking about political partisan games that people often play in the broken system that he has talked about repeatedly, said Sanders. This isn't a new sentiment. This isn't new terminology, she furthered. He has used it several times before, referencing men of both parties. In fact, if you look back at past comments he made, it is very clear what this reference was, Sanders concluded. Indeed, this is not the first time President Trump has revealed that a politician was willing to do anything to secure a generous campaign donation from him. He is one of the wealthiest men in the country, so one can only imagine the propositions he has been made over the, he has uh, been made over, oh, that they were asking him for, <laughs> the years in exchange for a piece of his vast fortune. Still, it's silly to think that Trump was referring to something sexual. I, uh, d don't, don't flatter yourself, Teller, but it really does tell where the collective left has their minds lately and should be, uh, sh and we shouldn't be surprised with all the sexual allegations being 
slung from their side of the aisle, but I digress. Uh, it is uh, far more likely that Gillibrand offered Trump some sort of preferential treatment on Capitol Hill, which would have been much more valuable to him as a businessman than a few minutes of sexual gratification. I agree. Furthermore, why on earth would Trump want sex from Kristen Gillibrand in exchange for donating to her campaign when, quite frankly, he's happily married to one of the most beautiful women in the world? Well, that doesn't actually say a lot in that sense, because I've heard about stories, but he's not interested. Let's just put it that way. If these reporters are going to continue with their fake news, the least they can do is make it somewhat believable. That's good. Otherwise, they are only insulting our intelligence. It's no wonder the American people are losing faith in the media at such an alarming rate when this is how they act. We could get so much more pertinent information to the people through these press briefings if reporters would just ask questions pertaining to topics Americans care about. We want to know about the economy, taxes, and our national security. We don't have time to nitpick what the president may have said in a tweet, and we don't care. How's that for you? I agree with that. We don't care. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.